Hi, this is Danny with southernketocooking.net and today I have a recipe for you for some southern green beans. Now every year, especially in the eastern Kentucky area where I'm from, a lot of people start harvesting their gardens and they start canning some fresh green beans. And today I actually have some green beans that are actually given to me by, by my aunt. And um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to cook these. So I already have one jar of the green beans in my pot here. And I've actually drained those. And now I'm gonna to add to that another jar of the green beans with the juices still in them. Now I can put it back up and on the burner. Now I'm gonna add another jar of just water, tap water. Now, in the south, we actually do like a smoky type flavor to our green beans. So you could add ham, you could add bacon, bacon grease, or anything like that. I've actually chosen to use smoked neck bones. Now, my mom used to also put these in her uh, pinto beans as well. And then I'm also going to add some fat. Now, also with the smoky flavor of the green beans from the south, we also want to have some fat to, uh, to the beans. Beans in the south have to be pretty greasy to taste good. So, so I'm going to actually add about a quarter of a cup of lard. Now, for a long time we've been told to stay away from lard, but now that we know on this ketogenic way of eating that we can actually have lard, it's better to get grass fed if you can. I try to get grass thing, fed things when I can, but I do have a budget and so it can actually skyrocket a lot of times if you're getting everything grass fed. Now if you can do that and that's what you choose to do, please do so. Now and I'm also going to add about two tablespoons of butter. Now, this is where I do not compromise on the grass fed because this is Kerrygold butter. And then I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt. I'll go ahead and... Um, add this and then we'll let it cook down and then I'll taste them and see if we need to add more salt to that. That's the thing about southern cooking. A lot of times things are not measured out and so I go back and I kind of remember and try to think of what I would put in it and what those amounts would be. And so that's a teaspoon of salt. And so I'm going to stir the salt in. And what I will do is, is I will let the, the green beans cook until all the water is cooked almost completely out of them. And that's when they'll be done. And the, uh, the fat that's in them will actually coat the beans and add a great flavor to it. Hey, the green beans are now done. I did go ahead and I cooked them until the water came almost completely out. You do want to make sure that you do keep an eye on your beans so they don't scorch. But it really does help the flavor to let all the water cook out of them. I also did have to add another teaspoon of salt and the seasoning is great in these. And so I hope you enjoyed this recipe for Southern Green Beans. And I do want to thank my Aunt Kathy, my cousin Joy, who did actually can these green beans and they gave these to me. And um, they are actually delicious. And so if you enjoy this recipe as well as the others, I would appreciate it if you would click subscribe below this video. And also if you would visit southernketocooking.net and click subscribe there as well. And what that does is this, there is no charge there. It gives you emails and lets you know whenever I have a new recipe up and available. Again, thank you for watching.